Yo, shout out to Tile 415. It's a quick tutorial for him. I just want to show him how to do this little thing that we was working on the other day. At the time, I really could have helped like I wanted to because I was tired and shit, so I couldn't really put my brain together, wrapping my, my brain around it. But uh, I was messing with all the little settings. I knew it was a way to do it because I did something similar to that before. I couldn't exactly remember how to do it, especially with the new Cinema 4D, because some of the layouts is different. It's, the way it's arranged is a little different than it was before. So, basically, this is the rough draft of it. You see what I'm saying? So, this basically what we're going to be doing. You see what I'm saying? Of course, Ty, you know how to um, smooth the edges out a little bit, make it a little smooth around the edges and shit. But uh, I'm going to try to make this tutorial uh, quick and short. You feel me? Let's go. Uh, let's go new. Um, there's a few ways you can do this, but I found this is the easiest way. Go to panel, make it full views. Come over here, go to mode, I believe it's view settings, that is. Go to back, get a uh, sample image. Uh, let's go with perk extreme conditioning. bring this picture up and you can start basically you know before I started with the body I'm gonna start with the circle let's get that out the way start with the circle and you know I realize once you get these shortcuts down all, this goes for everyone who's watching it swishing will make it a lot easier scale I'm seeing now is T move tool is E rotate is R move Okay, so the scale tool is T. Okay, there you go. T. There you go. Alright, so let's just scale this down a little bit. Let's see, move to is what again? Okay, E. I'm going to change those shortcut keys because I can't make it easy if it was to my liking. Get it. Let's go with T to scale it down. Try to get it to the size of the head. Let's zoom in a little bit. Get it to the size of the head. E, E, move over a little bit. There you go. Okay, I'm liking that. That's the head. Okay, now, Ty, this is what I was messing with. You remember we was trying to do the free tool? And I was like, you know what? It got to be another way. Linear. Remember I was saying linear? So let's try linear. Let's start with here and find it where you try to get the points where you want to leave room for adjustment. So just take that into consideration. For example, like a normal person would just go from here all the way across here. But I'm going here because when you start to see a little roundness to it, go here, then you come up, go here, and just click. Go here. And you see how much easier this is? So we do it this way. And of course, I know you can refine the edges and shit. But I'm trying to make this tutorial quick, so I ain't going to do that. But uh, anyone who's just learning will realize that just knowing these type of little things instead of me teaching you how to do one thing is better. That's why I'm not really a fan of watching tutorials on people teaching how to do one thing and that person only knows how to do it that way. Instead I like to teach people where they learn something and they can apply to more than just that one thing that they've been taught. For example, me showing you this, you could use for example uh you can model probably a gun. You see what I'm saying? Once you perfect the different things my eyes is not all that great. I should be having my glasses on while I'm doing this. And basically, right click, and I believe you go join segment, and you're good. So now you have a spine, and of course, Ty, you know how. And uh, I found when you, if you right left click, you hold it. Oh, I'm sorry, let me undo that real quick. If you right click and hold, shit, it's not doing what I wanted to do. Hold on, let me see something.
Okay, that's because we want to move. Let me just undo. Let's go here. Okay. Shit. I'm going to do this shit here. This is another thing I love. Because <laughs> of the tutorials and shit. You see where you make a learning as you're going along as well. See what I'm saying? So. There it is. You right click somewhere and then you can when you go over the I'm still holding down the left click. I meant left click. Sorry about that. You hold down, you see I got this little circle and it allow me to click these different points. When you click these different points, it allow you to adjust them. See if but if I do that, it'll move it'll move where the points are highlight. So I'm just I do that. I just wanted to show you that real quick. And I found that let me choose these real quick. I found that when you right click, you got a bunch of different options. And I, I saw this round. I was like, okay, maybe it's something we can do with that. So I'm assuming that eventually when you learn it, see how it rounds it? And you, when you click on it and then you move, it gives you a bunch of different points. You see what I'm saying? So that rounds that. And you don't even have to be on to see how now I got the left click down and I'm just moving sliding to the right and it's giving a bunch of points. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back to here. Let's go with these. Let's choose these points. Go back to round. There you go, bam. Now I'm assuming you could do this for all. I'm not gonna do that right now, but like I said, I want to keep this tutorial short and sweet, so we want to leave it at that. But basically, that's how we do it. And see how now this is round, nice and round. See, beast. Yeah, that that deserves a beast, right? But uh, okay. Now let's just give us two extrude nerves. Let's take this spline, put it in here. Take this circle, put it in here. Let's go with the circle first. And go down here to mold. Let's go to object. Let's go with a uh, fillet cat. We get even. Let's give it a few steps. I know you like that. I don't see it. I don't see really see a difference. That's because. That's because um, we're still looking at it from the uh, picture view. So let's go with uh, 18 steps. I'm gonna make sure it's the same. Let's apply that to this. Fill a cat. Let's go with 18 steps. You know, basically the steps rounds the edges out more. Let's go with 20. I'm gonna give it 20. And of course, afterwards, you want to just make sure you line it up and all that good stuff and um, just put them in a. Um, so let's check it out. There you go. See, this is the perspective view. The head, do that head seem like it's a little too big and shit? But uh, you see how that that this arm, cause this arm was the on this arm was the only real one I uh, rounded up. See how that's nice and round. So basically, we could just do it like that. And you could even give it a look, give it a material and shit. Let's let's create a material real quick. Give it a color. Let's keep it white. No luminous. Let's go with little reflection. Let's put it down to fifty percent though. Let's give it a little specular. 
Let's give him metal. white at the moment does it probably this is transparent kind of let's see let's take this off let's take this off I'm sorry reflection that red but he white but then again he probably he probably can make it whatever color why does she still look great okay because it's speculative it doesn't matter okay that's why let's go back to plastic fuck it let me pause this my phone okay we're back my phone homies Okay, nice and white now. 